Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out an alternative model who gets a mommy makeover. I have 31 tattoos on my face alone. That's not counting my head or my neck. My style 100% is my life. Today I'm going from alternative style to mom style. <laughs> I am too excited for this mommy makeover. I cannot wait. I do love her style. It's different. It's, it's different. These are like my chokers and everything I wear. Well, this is 100% me and a lifestyle I've always been this way. Lizzie, you do not have to explain yourself. Everybody has a lifestyle. There's no big deal. I do like these Supreme stickers. What else you got? I grew up with alternative parents, so they never tried to, you know, hinder how I expressed myself, the things I wore. It's more than like just the tattoos as well. It literally is a lifestyle. So it's not just- I have tattoos, like- No. The way I describe my look to everybody is like trap emo. I'm a sucker for anything with studs on it and anything that has a platform. Izzy, you have some great style. She's kind of giving me like old school Jeffree Star vibes. I know she's probably going to kill me. I have a two-year-old daughter named Amora. People are shocked when they realize that Amora is really like my offspring. We've had a lot of misconceptions before. I'm the babysitter. I'm the big sister. Most people don't expect a mom, you know, to be walking her two-year-old with some like platform buffalo londons and like chains swinging around you know i hate to say it but yeah this world is kind of harsh and i feel bad i like to always try to think of things in a positive way especially like people in their styles but yeah that's kind of messed up people will be like she can never be a mom like she has all those tattoos she could literally never be a mom and what do you know i've had people come up to me ask me um what my doc number is when i got out of prison it's crazy to think having that many tattoos or having a lot of tattoos or even like just a couple of tattoos in general to some people like that's very controversial and it's very like why it's just an old school way of thinking and it is changing there are doctors there are nurses there are surgeons who are full of tattoos and that is okay it's been like 10 years since i originally tattooed my face so i I'm really nervous. She has to be so nervous, especially if you're used to like seeing yourself with any tattoos, especially like if you had a tattoo above your brow. It doesn't even have to be a tattoo. It could just be like you always had blonde hair or you always had black hair. And one day you change it, you're like, holy crap, I changed, I changed, I my, changed my life. My life. opposite of my look and i think anybody in the u.s knows what a karen is like super conservative boring hair boring clothes definitely no tattoo showing no tattoos she's like yeah let's forget about the other side of karen's you know besides the blonde hair and boring personality let's not forget the other stuff okay this i would probably give to like one of the homeless people around here but <laughs> at least she's a donating queen like she wants to help she's like you know what this cottage core style this disney fantasy life is not gonna be for me so i'll donate it i'm not gonna throw it away i'm not gonna burn it in the fire i'm just gonna donate it oh my gosh it's karen blonde what this is gonna be awful like really awful that is a karen wig that is a karen color that is everything that screams karen <sighs> i've covered tattoos but never this this many. Well, Tori, guess what? You don't have to cover any more tattoos. You could just leave Izzy alone. Look at this. Like that dress makes the text like they complement each other is basically what I'm trying to say. And I have 31 tattoos on my face alone. That's not counting my head or my neck or anything around like solely my face. I'm so nervous. That is a lot of face tattoos. I would have never thought that you could have 31 face tattoos, but I guess you could technically have a thousand. I'm like nervous for real right now. Yeah. I'm nervous as hell too. And here we go. The part we've all been waiting for. The wig and the mirror. Oh boy. <laughs> Stop. That's not me. <laughs> I have to pause this. I don't even know what to think, guys. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting... I don't know what type of vibes I'm getting here. This is what I'd look like if I never tattooed my face. I don't know who I am. Oh my god, this is weird. I don't want to look at myself anymore. I totally understand what you're saying. It is a little freaky out of body experience. Out of body? Out of body experience to look at yourself a different way than you're normally used to seeing yourself. It could be a good thing, and for something permanent as tattoos, it could be a bad thing. It's not bad. Like, I look pretty just pretty different <laughs> these eyebrows are awesome <laughs> that's what i mean like tori really hooked it up with the eyebrows and the makeup like everything's beautiful i feel like i'm gonna freak out my best friend and my daughter 
I think it's gonna really mind blow her to see me with no tattoos. She's gonna be like, where'd they go? <laughs> I've never not known her without face tattoos. I'm really excited to see what this parallel universe Izzy could be like. Wow, oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Uh, Mora and her friend, I think it was Nida, to see this makeover because um, they're definitely gonna be in a shock. She doesn't know what to do. It's me. Yeah, she definitely did not know what to do. She was like, Mom, is that you? Um, who are you? How do you feel? I feel gross. <laughs> you look like you just baked cookies for like the Christian bake sale. She really does look like that. She's giving those vibes. Wait, where'd my tattoos go? No. You don't know? <laughs> where are they? <laughs> she found one. She's like, I love my mom's tattoos. Do not take them away ever. It's, it's just a whole different person. Like, I can't accept that this is Izzy. My brain is not good with it yet. I remember why I have tattoos on. I would not go out like this. I don't think people would talk to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Bye. Ooh.